less crunk than what I would want y'all to be. So thank you for the introduction. And she's absolutely right. By the time it makes it to lawyers, by the time it makes it to attorneys, it's too late because it's already policy. They can't fight something that doesn't exist at the state level. Again, my name is Jasmine Henderson, and I'm the Director of Policy and Social Impact for the Ohio Women's Alliance and the Ohio Women's Alliance. Woo! Woo! But what I want y'all to know is that this past year, I've spent way too much of my time drafting press releases, um, showing up to events like this, planning events like this, defending organizers and other people like um, some of my friends and some of my colleagues who organized this event. So that's Jordan, that's Sarah, that's Sierra, that's Taylor. Um, thank you to Olivia um, for my team OWA because what they did was made sure that we had a pathway to be able to express ourselves on this Tuesday. And best believe that that wasn't easy due to the obstacles that we had to overcome living here in Ohio. So let me just tell you the truth. The reason why this legislature thinks that they can do this is because December 1st, 2021, there's a Supreme Court case that's being held. How many people knew that that close to now that there was a Supreme Court case that could overturn Roe versus Wade? It's called the Jackson's Women's Health Organization versus Dobbs. It started off in Mississippi about a 15 week abortion ban. Do y'all understand the impact of what a total abortion ban would do to a place like Ohio? It's not 15 weeks. It's not six weeks like Senate Bill um, 8 out of Texas. It is immediate and it is effective if Roe versus Wade is overturned. We are at that crossroads, huh? Thank you, Heather. <laughs> We are already at the Supreme Court. And let me just say, this this is more than just about a person saying my body, my rights, because keep in mind, oh, my phone, I gotta push it away. Keep in mind the, the rights, some of the same GOP legislator that's trying to track past bills, like Senate Bill 123, that's the trigger bill, they support the ideology that it's us out here. If you're queer, if you have a uterus, if you are black, if you're indigenous, if you're AAPI, if you're Latinx, we're the ones who don't have a choice about what happens to us in our body. And I'm just here to let you know I'm tired. Some of the things I've had to do is draft uh, opponent testimony to make sure that black, brown, and indigenous history is still heard in Ohio. I have to fight every day to make sure that voting is still a form of harm reduction for people who look like us out here. And now we're having to fight for the ability to maneuver in the world with something that a lot of people are born with, which is a uterus. How personal is that? Women make up 52% of the population in Ohio. A lot of these women run their own households. Like I told, I won't call her name because she doesn't deserve it, but the senator who drafts many of these harmful policies three years ago, when I had to take time out of my day to come up here and give testimony, that how is it that we trust people with uteruses to lead their families, but also support and be the economic driver for the state of Ohio, but we don't trust them to do with which they want with their bodies. Does that make sense? It will never make sense. But this is the history of Ohio. This is the history of this legislature. I'm 31 years old. Most of the people who came into this legislature that made this a supermajority were here, and they came here in 1991, which means that people who look like us haven't had power for over 30 years. We've been fighting for 30 years. That's why we're here and we're telling y'all that it's been too late. And we can't be chill. Y'all looking at me, waiting for my next word, but what I don't see is enough anger. What I don't see is enough dedication. What I don't see is people willing to give up something, right? In order to make sure that the rights that people who look like me, that look like my grandmother, who have been an activist, who have fought for roads, my mama, who was a, a child of integration, and now me fighting for all sorts of things, putting my body on the line since I was 18 years old. This, this is the time that people should be more than upset. Because what we're asking for is a human right. What we're asking for is dignity. What we're asking for is support. And they spend our money wasting our time. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm trying to be like Maxine Waters and Jasmine Sullivan. And I'm trying to reclaim my damn time. Because my time is worth something. Nobody here should have had to use time off to ask for their rights today. Nobody here should have had to ask for child care today. Nobody here should have had to fill up their gas tanks to come down here today 
they find parking, make sure that they had enough money in their bank to be able to go get lunch. But this is the reality of what it means to live in Ohio right now. And if you ain't crunk, you ain't angry. And if you ain't angry, you ain't awake. And if you ain't awake, you're not my advocate or my ally. So what I want everybody to know is this. This rally is just the beginning. Figure out how you can plug in. My people at the Ohio Women's Alliance, if you go to our website, theohiowomensalliance.org, you can join our cooperative, join our newsletters. Meet me here tomorrow at 9.30 so we can go <laughs> up in there and talk about that trigger ban bill to hear what those two senators who are supporting this detrimental bill have to say. That's what support looks like. When we send out that email along with URGE, along with other organizations that say, submit opponent testimony. I want you to submit the rudest, nastiest, <laughs> loudest, most offensive piece of testimony that you can do. Because that's what they're doing to you. They're telling you that they think you ain't worth shit. And I want to be clear about that in case anybody thought that what we was doing was cute today. It ain't cute. I'm hot. I just want to let y'all know, and I'm thirsty, and I got to go to the bathroom. But on top of that, I'm willing to press aside my own comfort to make sure that all of us know that there is more work to be done, that this is just the beginning, that we need to continue to highlight and support the people who have organized this because they are putting their bodies, their lives, their comfort, and sometimes their mental, their emotional, and their spiritual health on the line to make sure that we have our rights. So what I'm going to leave you with before the next steps is what you're willing to give up. What you willing to do? If you want to take off today, you want to take off tomorrow, meet me at 9.30 so we can go in there and see what these people got to say. When it comes time for that email to come down, and it's going to come down in less than 24 hours, let me tell y'all, are y'all already going to have y'all opponent testimony? I mean, uh, yeah, opponent testimony ready to go to let these people know that we mean hell no? Are we going to support a legislation that's been in place for over 50 years? Well, it ain't legislation, y'all. It actually came out the Supreme Court. We got to be technical around these parts. But are we going to make sure that the laws of the land are upheld? Do you know how something gets to the Supreme Court? It has to be overturned or upheld multiple times, and the person has to do that. We don't have no more money to waste to make sure that abortion is safe, legal, and accessible. Woo. There's too many A's. And affordable up in here. So what I really want y'all to know as OWA and URGE and other organizations are a reproductive justice organization, we believe in self-determination from birth to death. That means every choice that you make is woefully yours because you're a human, you were born, you take up space, and you have the right to determine what your life looks like. And if you don't believe that, you need to put yourself on and to believe that you deserve that right because why you don't believe in yourself, we're losing our rights. Why you're being quiet, we're losing our rights. And I'm tired of being the canary in the coal mine. So thank y'all so much for being out here today. Get crunk, show up with me tomorrow, submit that opponent testimony, and let them know that we mean absolutely motherfucking not. Have a good day.